Hi, Mike Lamerson with Specialty Archery. We're here today, we're going to show you the features of our new uh, Pro Press and Pro Draw, draw board attachment that uh, goes with our Pro Press. First step on putting the bow into the press is moving the supports in or out. You loosen these, turning the hand wheel, and move these in or out. On the Matthews, you're going to want to put them through the suppressor holes. On most bows, you're going to place these where the limb joins the riser, right here. So, let's go ahead and place this here. So, you got to move this closer. Just crank this. Like so. Another nice feature about the press is once we have the locator, we're going to tighten this down. Another nice feature is we have mapping scales located on the main tube, the swing arms and the angle adjustment rod. So the next time you place this in, we include with the instructions a Pro Press Matthew worksheet. You have a scale here, so for this bow, Matthew's Chill X, the right position 19. So you know next time you put this in the press, you need to set this at position 19. See that under there? Mm -hmm. Hold the bow in place with the full four rings here. Now to position the limb gears, the first step that I like to do is just take these out, get this out, and loosen the thumb nut here, which is going to put this whole arm in the neutral position. You can move it all over. And this is already set, but if it was not, you'd have to remove it. There's an inner and outer ear. I'm going to note where the inner ear is positioned. See we're in position D here. We're going to place the outside one in position D. Set the width accordingly. Set the height. And the Matthews I like to go just below the brackets here on the limbs. And set the length of this. These can be slot, slid up if you're using a pass parallel bow. So we place the safety pin here, which keeps it from sliding. We also tighten it in place, bring it up to where it's almost touching. Here we're in position six, you can see the white, the pink mark in there. Put that there. Now you would also record Q6 on that Pro Press Macking worksheet I was mentioned earlier. So we're going to go over here. We got position D, Q, and six. So we know right away these have to be on position D. Turn around, go back. Take this out. Loosen this. Go into position Q here. Place pin in. That, that keeps it on. Again, on this bow, it's not a big deal. On past parallel limb bows, these can be forced outward. Tighten this down. We bring this up here. Position six. And the last thing is to set the width. You're going to want to place these. These are the limb ears. These are the limb tabs. These are spring loaded, so if you do happen to press the bow, these are spring loaded, so they'll be retracted out of the way. But we usually recommend placing them slightly on the outside edge. Right there, like that. If I can check this side, position correctly. And then press the ball. And because they're quite a ways out on the limb, there's not much effort required to press the ball. Okay. I always like to double check the cam routing, make sure none of them have come out of the string tracks. Now one of the really neat features about the press is the uh, pro draw attachment, which is a drawboard attachment. allows you to time the bow while it's sitting in the press. I'm actually going to switch the bow around. I usually recommend 
placing the bow into the press for timing? When you're placing the press for timing, we recommend putting the string stops on the outside for easy visualiz visualization. Put it back in the press. Still set from before, so close. Put back on position B. Now, I'm going to move this onto the gearbox of the draw board attachment, the curl draw. I'm run this down. First thing we're going to do is drop this down. And on the string. And what I think about it is you can also do a draw force curve or match draw lengths in two different bows. Uh, ATA standards are a brace height plus 1.75 inches. So we would start by this upper member does rotate. You want to put the string directly above the knocking point. You want to take the slack out. I'm not putting any tension on the string. So right there, the slack is out. We're going to move the o ring here to 8.75 inches. That's our starting point. And if we want to do a draw force curve, we can turn the scale on. You start drawing that back like so. One thing when you're doing this, you want to watch carefully and make sure you don't overdraw the bow. You can do that pretty easily. What are we looking for? Just cranking that back. The scale's going up. Drawing indicators traveling down right here. You want to make sure you don't put your fingers through this area. Kind of a safety precaution. And for timing the bow, you can see right here, there's no clicks on the gearbox, so you can make very precise adjustments. This is a boat winch or another type of drawboard, there's usually clicks. I don't know if you'll be able to see that in there, you can set this pretty precisely. You can see that slight movement again, there's no clicks or increments for, for timing. You can see we're touching right there and right there. This bowl's got just about a 28 inch draw, just hair under 28 inches. So for the last feature that's pretty cool is for timing this bow, if you didn't need to make an adjustment to the timing, when you got the bow in the press, say we know we need to add a half twist, take a half twist out of, out of river. Go back to here. And pull. Pull that up to the next spot, go up to position five. Same thing on the other side. We've got the handle back on the press. And we're going to bring this just close to the limbs. We don't want to actually press it. It's kind of, if you want the package, the stands Just going to bring that really close. Okay? So we don't want to press it, just put them really close. And then to check timing or make an adjustment to timing. We're going to back this off. Now the limbs relaxing are going to come to rest on the press. You see we don't have to go very far before those are relaxed. Okay, right there. Now those are loose. We can take that off, add a twist, take a twist out, whatever we need to do to, to time it. And we draw it back on the draw board. Again, I'm paranoid. I like to make sure this does not come out of the tracks here. Okay. Again, we would draw it back, recheck the timing. If we need to further adjust, we would just let it back down again, come to rest on the bow press. And again, it goes loose there. We take it off, add, subtract, twist, whatever we need to do. And once the timing is done, yeah, just drop that completely out of the way. That completely out of the way. I like to put them up there for safekeeping. And drop the roll back off. 
you can remove it from the press. And that is the features and benefits of our new Pro Press and Pro Draw from Specialty Archery.